Huff. Turn up, turn up, turn up. Hey. Boy, I got a unique huff. I had to get it out the m- Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the official Miss Jamaica. You don't know. What's going on, man? Damn. <laughs> so, man, this is the show I like, man. This is the one I love, actually. When when we when we set out to do things, man, we set out to be different in every way, you know? Um, we Definitely want to show people love while we got them here. Mm -hmm. People who deserve it. People who've been grinding for many, many years, man, and deserve and very deserving of what we do. So we say we're going to give people roses while they're here. Right. Yes, sir. Check it, man. Old boy Prince is here, man, for the uh, uh, the, for the award ceremony portion that we give. What's up, brother? I'm blessed, man. I appreciate y'all having me back. Man, come on, man. How could we not have you back? You know, it's crazy. I came in here. We shot a video. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know you. It's before the podcast. I didn't know all that. Before we didn't even we didn't stumble up on it yet. And then the phone call come in that you got a whole podcast <laughs> with the wife. I pulled back up. Now I'm on Boss Talk. One Say, one. man, listen, man, it go that fast. They got your boy up on the screen. Oh, I feel like I'm, I'm like, this is the Black Hood Grammys right hey, here, man. You know no, man, we love. We just we just love hard, man. We always have. You know what I mean? Like the people that God put in our life, we love hard, bro. And I think that's, you have to. Yeah. I mean, if I you think. you want to get somewhere. Yeah. I mean, that, it, and it's from the heart. It ain't just like we doing it for, no, we doing it because that's what we do. Right. And and like I said, you've been in the game so long, like like for many years, reinventing yourself, recreating yeah. the whole dynamic of like like from from being with the GS boys, you know yeah. what I'm saying? From being with with with, with from doing the, the the solo dolo thing, yeah. you know, you you mastered that. Now you hear you come again. What's this song with you and little runner? I keep hearing you told me Shame. about it. Wait a minute, you told me about yeah. it last time. Yeah. And then I start looking. I'm like everywhere I look, this song just keep popping up, keep popping up. Keep. I'm like, how in the hell is they doing this? Yeah. Yeah, Ron, I'm being honest with you. Ronnie doing this motherfucking thing, and it's a blessing that he even, you know, hit me and put me on the record. Cause how I am when I jump on records with people, I push it like it's my single as well. So yeah, it's up on my platforms. I repost the videos. I see him post, so it's gonna help it spread even more. But he doing this motherfucking thing like that. Man. this song got almost already like five hundred thousand streams on Spotify yeah, yeah. across the shit. So it's push going it. up. You plan to do the video soon? I just I'm waiting on it. It's my new record. Yeah. That K Stylish and Ronnie's gonna jump on. So I got look out for that. It's called the Hands on Your Knees. We're doing the 2.0. We got so you coming. guys just y'all just working, man. That's how that's the only way to keep moving. That's the only crazy, way to pay the bills man. is work. So so the thing I say about you, man, even even last time I was here, I got so many different people that were asking me about, yeah, him, man, we didn't know what happened to him. They don't even know that that's you that's doing Ron Rock. Because mm -hmm. the thing is, I'm normally, telling you, they don't know my that. Songs is bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's when you know you got that's how a record. That's, that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed so I don't, to be. I, I used to let it bother me, but then it don't. Because I was. that's how Stanky Leg was. Stanky Leg was bigger than us. Yeah, it was way big. And then that booty dude, it came because of Stanky Leg, like the way y'all pushed that out. Right. So that 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 whole that whole movement was crazy, right. and, and and a lot of people have never done that, you right. know, especially not in this area. Right, right, right. So that's the reason why we said we gotta recognize him because at the end of the day, that's him. Right, mm -hmm. he here. Him. Appreciate it. And we may not never get this chance again, so we doing it, and that's, that's how it come. That's you know, love. love, love the way you move. Appreciate it. Go ahead, babe, because I know already you gotta ask him something. You gotta give him something today. She come with the questions. Yeah, yeah, she the questionnaire. No, um, I heard y'all talking about the R and B. Right. Y'all coming with? Yeah. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about it. Well, um, I got I don't know how many R and B singers I got. I got a lot. Y'all done brought back y'all like, like y'all think we in nineteen ninety. Man, it's But it's, it's missing. I love yeah, R and B. It's, missing. it's so missing. So you thinking y'all go you thinking y'all ready for that? I, bro, yeah, y'all finna y'all this I, finna, I, this I finna be a baby got, booming I situation, I bro. Like, I got Do you not understand what happened in the nineties, nigga? Man, I got it. You put the right song on, got, and it's a problem, I nigga. Got, I got Y'all niggas got, gonna stop all that, all that dancing, yeah. how they boogieing and everything. Yeah, you that's keep fine. That they'll make some babies. That's it. <laughs> be, I can't talk to you. See, you see, see Jamaica, they, they never stop. They do it fast, slow, whatever. It's all about <laughs> making babies and sex they with them. Up. <laughs> so, so tell us about it. So, um, I got. R&B singer named Shank right now. We got two singles out, uh, Love and Affection and Don't Love Me Alive. That's out. I got AG. He's a part of Riders Block and C4S with us. His pen game is a fool. Like, he'll write you some some crazy music, like hard. Like I, He's one of the reasons why when I was younger, 
I, I started doing music because I was watching him, and he was younger than me. He was like, well, he's like three years younger than me, so I was maybe 15. He was 12, and he was in the studio doing this thing, and I was just watching, learning. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, you got to pay extra and go over and beyond mm -hmm. and get in the studio. But I was going with him to certain studio sessions and seeing what he was doing, and it was over after that. I seen how he started a group and certain shit, so I was following what he was doing. And then when he got locked up, I went ahead and just expanded. Like I didn't, I knew I got enough from him that I learned, and then I learned the business, and it was over after that. Wow! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I learned the music side from him, and he was doing straight R and B. Wow! Stanky Leg was really our first kind of rap record. Yeah. Everything else was R and B records, like GS Boys. We had Twisted and a whole bunch of R and B songs that was booming way before Stanky Leg came. I Stanky never, Leg I never knew that. Rap. So what inspired you to move it in that direction? Thank you, Leg. It was popping. Thank it you, made you move. Right. I was like, yeah, it made it. you move. Okay. Yeah. Actually, just say, you know what? You doing this. Yeah. Because the people pretty much, it's just like the internet. Like I was just telling Unique earlier. Right. It's like the internet kind of tells you who you facts, are. Facts, it don't lie to facts, you. It facts. put it right in your face. Ain't facts. nothing you can say, but this is who I am. Because they telling you, this who you, you put yourself out there. And they, and and they, they pretty tell you much, what's good and what's not they good. They tell you who you are. And if you don't like it, you can't do a damn thing about it, but change and try to get better. That's it. Am I right? Nah, speaking fast. But I, hell, they like you because you. How many views on that damn round rock you 100 had? A million. A hundred million. And, and growing. Yeah. And, and growing. growing. And growing. Wow. You a beast, man. I had to sip to that. Do you ever make it? Do you feel like, dang, I'm gonna, am I, am I gonna be able to get to that? Back to that? Um, Is it challenging? I ain't gonna lie, yeah. It is. It is. I do it. I yeah. do it. it. It's it's it a is. it's a grind. Like but, he like, damn, I but gotta get I back. Gonna, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie. With having a manager like Black and shit and making nigga, I don't want to say bougie, but it's damn near bougie. Cause now when they call talking about numbers, I be like, well, I'm Black be like, nah, we need a bigger bag, and I be like, damn, he ain't man. playing. He ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? Shows no. come, I be no. like, well, he be like, nah, we need a bigger He's bag. And you I be got like, the hey. right nigga yeah, with you. Y'all so, both so doing the different. same thing. You know, different times different, but we 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 they for sure calling. And them numbers is for sure coming in. Yeah. And, and you know, but back then, like we said, last interview was um CDs. Yeah. Now yeah. Now you got digital. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So times is for sure different as independent now. So you seeing a lot of the money a hundred percent versus it going through the middleman. So, you know, I'ma ride I'ma ride the wave until it's time for them to drop the boat on me. Man. So I got a question. So more like Ron the ship. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need the so, boat, I need ship. <laughs> need a ship. With Ron Rock being such a hit on TikTok. Uh huh. And you say you come out with another dance song. Right. What's the time limit or space you want to have in between each so you can give Ron Rock the time to grow to its maximum capacity? Uh, with today's timing, I was watching this one interview and, and how these young kids and young dudes be dropping songs. It's like this nowadays. Right. So we gotta, I got to keep up with that. With Ram Rock being big, I'm sitting on a little bit more because I'm seeing money coming in right, and things is going right. on. But I'm right now... Working on the next one mm -hmm. because like I'm like if you do it back to back, you're not giving Round Rock right. the time to right. really get where it needs to be. Like with Shake is helping it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Round Rock's out. I got Shake out. And then I already got Tiki Talk, and she gonna enter other songs that I'm on with other people. Wow. So while these other records is working and Round Rock's still out, that gives me time to go ahead and work on my next okay. record. So, so it's like people one. people really they think it's they think it's just something that just you you bump into, but there's really actually a strategy. Yeah, it's a method. It's some, a now, strategy. Now, now I ain't gonna lie. Some people, there's some people that blow up overnight. I don't no, see no, no, no. I know that right, part, right, right, but right, right. you guys actually have mastered the yeah, art yeah, of yeah, understanding yeah, 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 yeah. there's an algorithm, yeah. and as we make it through right. this thing, we right. have to go through these yeah. channels. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, now you, I got those people out there that are just out there throwing things out yeah. there and trying to make something hit and stick. Yeah. But when you really, really organize in a method through it and you've broken the algorithm, right. you've done it not only once but twice. Right. You know, this is the thing that I believe separates uh, uh, one from the next. What right. you think? Yeah, for sure. Because if for you sure. know how to do it, now you can bring other people into the whole gamut of it and strategically organize people to be in a successful place. Mm -hmm. I'm like Tom Brady. There it is. There, there it is. Yeah, yeah. You better yeah. be like Tom. Yeah, Tom like is the Tom. one to be like. Everybody tried to hate on him too when he first came in the league. Mm -hmm. You, you like feel Tom, some of that too? Yeah, I felt it. <laughs> I felt that they was hating on the man. But I like Tom with it. Yeah. So, so the thing I can say. Sorry, is, Black. I know the KC. Yes. 
Oh yeah, KC, that that hurt. That hurt. Don't don't say oh, nothing God. to him. That hurt. I uh, he felt that. I know. I had to. Say, I apologize. Yeah, now, he I felt that. He, he from Kansas. Yeah, Missouri, I didn't like that line. Kansas City. Of, it's all good. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all still family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is what it is. You know. <laughs> Sometimes you lose. Every every dog has his day. How much you lost again, Black? Two motherfuckers. Ah, <laughs> oh, that boy didn't put that money up, did he? So. You know, um, the the award ceremony is dear to us because we've only given out a few, you know, and we, sure. like I say, I think we're different because of that. I think we're doing it because we know already it's deserving. And sometimes, like, was it Mike Jones? Mm -hmm. Had never been recognized for that, putting out that, that, that number. Go. Yeah, and I had to recognize him for it because I was like, Heck no, man. Nobody, no, never did, they nobody, never did that. nobody. That's Soldier Boy tried it, but it wasn't like Mike Jones. No, no, no. Him. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And somebody, I, he was like, nobody never recognized me for that. I had a DJ on here, been DJing for over 35 years. And he never been recognized for DJ. Everybody under his whole umbrella, whether it be K Rock or, or dealings with different ones, you know, that he's dealt with and helped in the industry, they may have been recognized, but he hadn't been recognized. So sure. that's what we do. Now, we know you a whole different level, you know. Mr. Stanky Leg himself, what did that album do? I mean, what did that, yeah. Went gold. See what I'm saying? I, I, yeah, yeah. See, y'all different. You're different. Y'all different, you know. But still, because you came on this platform and because we try to say, you know what, we giving everybody roses. When they come in our place, if they somebody who been out here grinding, we rocking with them. And we're going to make sure that the world know that that's how we feel about them. And we appreciate everything that you've done, you know, sure. even to, uh, even up to the interview. But you was here before that. So For this sure. bigger than just the interview. People don't realize that. Right. Everything that happened with us, the whole camp, yeah. is so organic. Yeah. A whole different level. Nice. A lot of niggas ain't built like that. Nice. So... Go ahead, babe. You know I was going in. No, go ahead. No, no, no. You know, your, your voice was a little sore and all that this morning. I know. So I've been holding it down. I know. Now go on and ask the man a question or something. <laughs> hey, he doing his job. I, tell, I me like, I like <laughs> tell me about it. I like coming on here. Tell me about it. I have to do it, man. But I know that you do um, editing. Right. You do, you do it all. What you do don't it you all. do? I'm, right now I'm trying to learn how, how to, to produce. That's it. I knew you were going to say that. That's it. You got to get there. Yeah, that's it. That's the last piece of the puzzle. You could do it all after that. <laughs> do you want to, like, stop rapping eventually and go on that side of it um, and just deal with that? Yeah. But you know, when, you, when you, you see movie like, actors, actors, they, they act and then all of a they sudden... They start shooting movies. They start doing the director. That's what Denzel right done. Like that. So. Denzel done it. Yeah, that's the plan. That's like, the with plan. Unique, I told Unique. Unique was rapping before we met. Everything and I told her, I said trust the process, and boom, she been up ever since. Wow, paid promos off wow. of IG, TikTok, everything. The same but thing with uh, but bring it down, pick it up. The song I dropped before it was two dudes on there. Y'all don't even know the names of them, but that song got over a million views on YouTube. Everything wow. it was my partners that I had. See since what I'm we saying? Growing up, I said, hey, give me some bread, give me some bread. I'm gonna write your verse since you rap, write your rap your own verse. We gonna jump on the song. Give me some bread. Give me some bread. I'm going to show you where to put it. And we blew up. Damn. And the thing I can say is you taught us so much last time you was here. Yeah. You like, my my niece, she can't quit talking about it. Yeah. She keeps saying, no, she be like, mm -hmm. man, this dude, man. Because a lot of the stuff that you're doing, a lot of people don't do. Right. The things that you, you're, 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 the platforms you're going on, right. the way that you, you know, looking at them and trying to understand them. Right. A lot of people not doing that. Yeah, and then you're, 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 you're a lot ahead, you way ahead of me. I mean, you know, you guys are doing something totally different. The things, the names of all those pro platforms he talked about oh, last time, apps. I'm still not on there. Right. You know, I'm hurt. Nah, you know, you, you she on, the, on you there. On, you're on the right path, but you know, like, you you mastering the podcast side. You oh, yeah, I'm, that's so what I do. Even, even, I got all them streams saying, going. But when you have, like, you know, when last time we was here, you had the extra people. All yeah. it takes for somebody to set up the other phone. Yeah. And that's another app on. Set up another phone right there. That's another see, app. See what I'm saying? And then, boom, you you hitting all apps at the all same apps time. All the same. You know see, I got to get there. See that? Mm -hmm. That's why I got to. I'm, I'm kidnapping you. So I'm, I'm bringing next. you back. Now, I'm going to start driving over I your house. You. Nigga, stop playing. I got you. <laughs> I'm going to tee you up. I got you. So, let me see. Um, Do you invest any other ways other than just, you know, apps and so forth? Like, maybe even the stock market or anything Man, like that? Man, this dude black. At first, I ain't gonna lie to you. I I used to like spend my money going to the casino. I like crap, so I'm me too. Some dice, Me you know too. What I'm saying? Me too. But 
since they put me up on Dogecoin and the new one, what is it, KLV mm-hmm. and uh, Bitcoin and all, I just been like, at first I was throwing like a little hundred dollars here and there. Now last day, KLV was the the most recent. I threw a thousand. In hey, there. how did you feel, man? It's, it's up. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see right now. We gonna look right now. Cause you cause gotta I, check those things daily. Like uh, almost like. All the some, time. Some of them, some of them is daily, and then some of them they say long time investment. So I'm up there. I'm up. I'm up four hundred dollars right now. Hey, so okay. so it, I mean, it's, so so black is the mastermind behind this. I mean, he he do everything, man. This he got dude. me. He want me to start mining some of this crypto and stuff. Yeah, are you he serious? To, he's, he is That's a good manager. It's just right not now. just music. He's telling me about crypto and How investing. Okay, in well, well, let me ask you this. That's good. I'm sorry. Go. I, 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 just I, wanna, I just wanted to ask those questions because I mean, did see you see about the, the growth. Did you see anything in this nigga last time when y'all were back in the day? You Man, didn't see I, that. I, no, I, you ain't see this in I that nigga. I told you we was trying. You ain't to, see look, this in that nigga. We, you gonna take this nigga head hey, off, you man? You remember on uh, Fast and Furious when them guys pulled up with them set of cars and the other guy put? That's how it was when he was with the other GS boys. We met at the McDonald's parking <laughs> lot. Cause he had he wanted to know what was going on and we all pulled up. Oh yeah, I, like he was big time. Yeah, he was. What did he say to you? Just let's recap that. No, 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 no. This is what he, he said. He didn't say nothing. He said, "Look, he was just like, you know, man, what we gonna do, man? Y'all the GS boys and we the GS boys. See, I was the manager of me and South. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the manager of the other guy. I know, I know. But but see, the thing is with that schism right there, yeah. that split. Yeah. It causes the where you get to see the other side of it. Yeah, I did. The side you got to see I that did. side, and for y'all to come back you together, see, he, you he, must, didn't, he didn't hold the phone and do behind the scenes with the mother guy like that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> did y'all even have phones back then? Yeah, yeah, we did. It's all love. Hey, shout out to y'all if y'all see this. <laughs> but, but yeah, man, we out here working. You know what I'm I, saying? I just I trip off the fact that how you was on that side. That I thought about that when I left here last time. Like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You was really not rocking with him like that facts, then, facts. but it made you be able to see kind of what he was. And then when you seen it, you're like, I need that with nah, me. He cool. He I really, need that. I really, got to really, have really something cool, like that with man. me, man. Stand up type of guy, man. Been great for me, man. Love this guy. I ain't cool. just saying it because he here. I be tell, I tell this to everybody. Like, nah, for sure. he been 100 with me. Ain't nothing else. For sure. You know what I'm saying? He my don't, nigga. Y- y- y'all got a hell of a team. He my nigga. I respect it, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that and boy, dr- he a drive too. That road man, I he, seen he him. I follow him on man. IG. Security. That nigga go, boy. Look. That nigga security too. Man, everything. Look. That nigga guy one, right now. one stop look. shop. Man. One stop shop. Man. Then he had you. Didn't want you to drink last time you right. go. He look, don't say too much. He might try to raise the percent on me. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> he, might to to he might try to ask for more. Right but now that's an off day. You off, you off today, right? Supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. All right, so rappers, right? You did. You talked about the R and B, right? You know, and I know that you know the path and you know the way for sure. What rapper? What what guy are you looking at? Younger guy, somebody that you feel like you could put in a spot to where they could be successful. Right now, it's my team. You need music, but do you, I Shank, mean? I mean, I know you got. I heard yeah, that's that. Yeah. I ain't talking about that. Yeah, I'm talking about any other rapper guy. Oh, not yet. There might be an open lane for somebody to get in there. Oh, is there somebody black? Nah, not that I know of right now. But you now. see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we I, had somebody, but talking. he on probation right now. So well, they gotta, usually do. Yeah, That's the rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how they do it. They're going to be right. on probation. You nah, got t- He on label probation. Oh, we put him on probation. Y'all put him on probation. Yeah, true story. Really? Yeah. But, and he was um, good. Yeah, man. Yeah, Hurt yeah, you to man. put him on probation. Yeah, man. Wow, yeah. but you got to do it. Yeah, that's a part of who you are. Facts. I see that in you. I know that you're a leader, and I know that you guys are leaders. Thanks. So see, the thing is, like when you're doing these platforms and certain different things that we got going. What it is, man? It's your boy, old boy Prince, man. Boss Talk One on One, and presented me with this award, man. Last award I had presented was when we was at the BET Awards, Best Group. Now I'm solo, and you know, it's real right here. Y'all see it. Oh boy, Prince, man, appreciate y'all. Yeah, man, you, I know hey, how man, it goes, you, know you something man. special, bro. Hey, man, ever since you broke up the GS boys, <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about. You <laughs> ever, ever Shout since, out to them. Yeah, ever since you, ever <laughs> since you started getting greeted with the money. <laughs> 
He the ice cube. Boy, I go right back in. Hey, yeah. <laughs> he he jump right back in. Don't listen to this man. man. Everybody, everybody, everybody make you, sure you subscribe. <laughs> Boss Talk one on one. Go stream round rock, man. Say, man. I mean, you know, you you looking real fresh out here now. Man, look, man, chill out. No. <laughs> chill out. Boss look, Talk one on one. You looking good. Round rock. Say, man. A million I, views on look, TikTok. <laughs> I just, I mean, I love your energy, bro. Sure. I mean, in your humbleness, is it, it's not denied, man. You humble, and 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 approachable, and you ain't tripping. Like, like I could see why you basically done seen the numbers you done seen. Yeah. Like I said, the the thing I say is, man, hey, you got you got your son now. Right. Now you gotta you gotta go hard. You gotta go hard. I have to. Well, I went there and then see once that son thing to. get on there, it's a whole nother level. Nah, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For it real. ain't no I have to. ain't no games now. Nah, for real. I have to. And you I, can't I, just be him looking at YouTube's and say, Daddy, what happened? <laughs> Hell no. Black, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Black say, Man, that nigga that, hey man, he, he ain't gonna leave his child, he ain't gonna let his child be with nobody. I say, Are you serious? That nigga gone, huh? He don't play. Nah, for real. And that's what a father does, bro. Do you want any more kids? Nah. No, then why? Through. Just one? That's it. Why? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hell so, nah. so with traveling and everything, about to open back up the way it's doing. Y'all already been going. I seen y'all right. going somewhere. Corpus. And then yeah, I seen Corpus. Chingy. Uh, no, nah, that was last time I'm talking yeah. about way before. You niggas, y'all, y'all will get out there. So, right. um, with with the, with everything with you being in the business and you know, uh, with things being centralized around your son, how you gonna work that that algorithm? Man, we got babysitters. Got babysitter for sure. Granny, gonna need them. Grannies and, and family members. You got you got the you got the man boob in case you, she ain't around. <laughs> or? He, he off of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over with. Them days over with. So so I mean the thing I can say about you, bro. It, like I said, I I I've not met nobody. I've interviewed a lot of people, but right. anybody that really all around it. yeah, all around, but know how to deal with all these social media platforms like you do. That's the extraordinary thing that I see in you for me. Sure. Like I'm gonna use you up. I, I mean, you be like, oh, yeah, you do this and do that. And you monetize my TikTok when you was here last time. Yeah. I'm like, I got 24,000 people on there. I don't even look at it like yeah. that. And you like, no, nah, you could do this. And yeah, it's make stuff, money. Yeah, it's stuff like that that a lot of people <clears throat> don't know. I mean, See, the thing is, bro, I try to say this, and some people don't rock with it when I say it, but it's just the truth. When GS Boys first came out, we was doing the Stanky Leg. We was around all the rappers because mm -hmm. our song was hot. Yeah. So we was doing shows and being around everybody. Nobody never big bro us and say, hey, don't do this, do that. Look out for this, look out for that. Everybody just was just like, get your money. They ain't never gave us no game. Mm -hmm. Nigga like me, if I give somebody some game and bring them under my wing at the same time, that's what I'm going to do because I'm going I'm to gain more from the situation. They are part of the situation and they doing their own thing and they learning at the same time. If they want to break apart in the long run and shit, when your contract's over, you go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we just gonna make it straight business. That's what I felt like a lot of these artists should have deal with us and we could have all we could have grew together. Like, you know what I'm saying? But Look they at Gucci. Known that. Like what Gucci on, that's what I'm But on. Gucci wasn't on that at first. He wasn't even signing. He was kind of not signing and he was pretty much letting everybody kind of fly the way they wanted right. to fly. Right. So much so that people get on the Breakfast Club and say, you know, I ain't with him or because they could say that because right. they hadn't signed right. anything. Facts. But now this new Gucci yeah. is so much more professional, yeah. so much more about, about, about the, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's learned so he much. learned Facts. so much over the years. So <laughs> I think I, a lot of shout out to stores. Gucci for growing, man. You know what I'm saying? For growing, it's it's something else in growth. Facts. And so you come in the game and you say, you know what, I'm just going to automatic, I'm doing this. Yeah. One thing that stuck out for me last time, you ain't trying to live no gangsterism in this. You straight, hey, I ain't never been in trouble before. Yeah. People need to hear that side too. You know what I mean? Like sure. everybody think you gotta be a gangster to be successful in rap. For sure. But at the like, end, I ain't gonna day, lie, nigga. Done been into some oh, shit. Oh no, no, no! You, no, know, you didn't get caught, nigga. That's it. So you gotta, you gotta play like, like you gotta play like the chance to rap yeah, and all facts, of them. You a facts, good dude, facts, man. Facts, Damn, facts, all that. Facts, Leave facts, that alone. Facts, 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 facts. Nah, for real. No, because I'm being real. Like somebody can use that to try to. You can help somebody to be positive about. Hey, I ain't gotta show this side to right. be all that, you right. know. But if you get real, nigga, we can yeah. we can go there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But no, we, I ain't trying real. to go there, nigga. For I got real. more to lose than you do, no, you know. For real. So I like that last time, you know. You got your gun license? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I need to. I you got in too Texas, many nigga. Have them. You got to you in Texas, nigga. Get what, your gun license. What is the right thing? What's the right thing to do when they pull you over? Oh, don't tell them you got well, you gotta tell them. That's a serious thing. But it gotta be separated though, right? Yeah. One in the glove compartment, one in the armrest. 
the clipping armrest and the gun in the gun. Yes. Yeah, yes. I just, yes. Right. Yes. you gonna go, yes. but you out here riding. Sure. You got that thing in there clipped up right now. For real, but <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm making sure I got it how I need to be, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's all. But that I used to hate that, though. I used to hate that because, like, if somebody's gonna come jack you or whatever, you trying to hurry up and, you know. Well, I only do that when the cops pull up behind me. Other than that, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's already ready. It's ready. So I, I mean, you got a lot, a lot of people that that I know. You you have to look out for your family. Yeah. So that's why I asked that question. For no, sure. no biggie, man. You oh, know. For sure. Um, definitely want to. We we getting ready to present you with this award, man. We love you. We appreciate you, man. And like I said, you didn't have to come on our platform, but you did. I came. And and that's why I come. Even if <clears throat> I knew already that you was going to be here because we were already linked, of course. Yeah. And and a lot of people don't be knowing how this stuff be happening. Right. But it's so organic. Am I right? No, that's how. It, that's the only way it works. Yeah, like it's that. so real. That's like the only it's way just it supposed to be here. Mm-hmm. So let's let's give let's give him an award, man. I know you like to do it over there, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show, show man. Anytime, bro. Boss anytime. Talk One Hundred and One. Okay, oh boy, Prince. For sure. We here at Boss Talk One Hundred and One would like to present you with this award mm-hmm. to tell you how much we appreciate your grind, all the music I've been seeing and hearing, and I didn't even know it was you. <laughs> no, but we didn't. As you said, you know, your music has to be bigger than you. Right. And I love the fact the way how you have grasped that aspect of it and how you are a, an all round entrepreneur I should say that's for sure I love it so we'd like to present you with this award to say thank you for your service man yeah yeah Matthew old boy Prince presented oh yeah. in recognition of your contribution to the music industry successfully reinventing the name old boy Prince while releasing hit after hit is that what you were doing no nah, for real that's that's live man holla at your boy man it's a unique hustle bro boss all 101 Man, appreciate you, man. Nah, for real. You know, my first one, we didn't win. I was with the group. Really? We was at the BT one, the best group. They 26 won. Really? But I came to Boss Talk and I won. Man, you the man anyway. No, you you deserve it. Thank hey, you. man, the, the thing I can say, old boy, is the, the thing I look at is your grind, man. For and, sure. And, and the way you're helping us, man. Nah, for sure. You've been helping us, bro. It's loud. It's going next to the plaque. <laughs> For real. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. We got to get it popping, man, at all times. You got to come back, too. Every every new project, you got to be here. I'm going to bring my artists back. For sure. The whole, the whole C4S, the whole game. I'm going to bring everybody. Through. Appreciate it, man.